In this tutorial, we're going to review how to import and export audio in Articulate Presenter 360. Now, here's a common use case. You may hire a professional narrator to record your audio files, or you may have some audio files that you want to import. So, I'm going to show you how to import those. Or you may record your audio in Articulate Presenter 360, and for whatever reason, you need to export those audio files. Maybe you want to save them. Uh, so you just have them separate, or you can export them and do some post-production work and then re-import them. So I'm going to show you how to import and export audio. So first thing we need to do is go into PowerPoint. We have our Articulate tab. You can see we have the Import Audio button, so we're going to click on that. This opens up this window here. You'll notice you have a list of slides, and then there's going to be audio that's associated with that slide. In this case, none of the slides have audio on them. And what we're going to do is we're going to import a single audio file. Now if you look at your practice files, you'll see that there's an audio folder and you've got a number of audio files that you can use to be imported. So we're going to go ahead and use those. So let's import a single audio file. So I'm going to just select slide 2. And let's say I want to import audio just on slide 2. So I'm going to select it, go to Browse. That's going to open up our folder. So I'm going to go to my practice file. And I have an audio slide too. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Open. And as you can see now, that imports the audio onto slide 2. I hit OK. And now I have audio on slide 2. Now if I want to delete that audio or I want to do a batch import, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to come back up to Import Audio. You can see how there's my audio that we just imported. I'm going to select that and remove. So now the audio is deleted. Let's do a batch import. I know I have those seven audio files. Let's say I want to import the audio on slide one through seven. So I'm going to go to Browse, select my audio file. So if I select the first one and I hit Shift and then select the last one, it selects them all. I hit Open. And you can see now that it did a batch import of those audio files. And so if they're not in the right order, I can move them up or down and do whatever I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I can see that they're all listed down here. I hit OK. It's going to update it. And then I'll have audio on all of my slides. And once the audio is in there, you can go to the audio editor and make some adjustments to the audio. Or you can use the narration option to synchronize your animations with the imported audio. Let's go ahead and look at the audio editor real quick. You'll notice that you have all your audio here on these slides now. And a couple of other options. You'll see that you have an import option here. So you can import a single file or multiple files. And if you go to File, you can do an Import or you can do an export from here as well. And let me show you how the export works here. So if I do an export and I want to do MP3s. So now I'm in my audio folder and I created an export folder. So I'm just going to select that folder. And what it's going to do is it's going to export those audio files. So a lot of times people will record narration in Articulate Presenter 360, but your audio is still kind of stuck inside the file. Uh, I like to export the audio and then I just have the audio file separate. And then one of the things I really like about the export feature is that if I look inside that exported folder, you can see that not only did it export it and give me the slide numbers, but it actually gave me the slide titles. So it makes it really easy for me to locate those audio files and know exactly what slide uh, they belong to. And that's really helpful in case I end up rearranging my slide order. Uh, the slide numbers don't make sense, but then the slide titles do. So that's how you import and export audio. So it's pretty simple. You can import single files, or you can do a batch import and bring them on multiple slides. Then you can also do the export of your audio and then save those or do some post production and then import those back in. If you have any questions, go ahead and jump in the community and ask. We're always there to help you. And then watch the other Presenter 360 tutorials to learn more about working with the tools.